Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here, answering questions that came in on our most recent question and answer Sunday. And today is a question that no one has ever asked me before. Here's what it says. One spectrum of the LGBT plus community is asexuality. That is, not experiencing sexual attraction in any way or desiring a partner. Being asexual is under the umbrella term queer by many people. And some religious people associate being queer with being a sinner. Is it considered a sin to be asexual? Wow. Credit to this person because that's a really precise question. If a person doesn't have a passionate sexual desire, whether for the same sex or the opposite sex, if that's just not of interest to them, if they're cool without sex or sexual pleasure, is that a sin? Or is that okay with God? Yeah, that question made me think of 1 Corinthians chapter 7. You might know that some pretty amazing people in the Bible, like Jesus and the Apostle Paul, were not sexually active and they weren't married, and yet they were really great God-fearing people. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, the, the Apostle Paul said this, speaking of his singleness, he wrote, I wish that all of you were as I am, but each of you has your own gift from God. One has this gift and another has that. So Paul is kind of saying, you know, I wish you people didn't need marriage, didn't need a partner, didn't need sexual pleasure. It's an amazing gift from God to be able to focus all of my time on certain things and not get caught up in the complicated aspects of relationships. And then two verses later, he says this. He said, it's good if people stay like me, but if they cannot control themselves, they should marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Now, I'm not an expert on what it all means to be asexual. But this question, is it okay not to have sexual attraction? The answer is yes. To me, Paul is clearly saying he's not burning with passion. Some people do. He doesn't. And he doesn't call his lack of passion a problem. (laughs) He actually says it's a really good gift. So if you could picture asexuality and biblical Christianity as two circles, I'm I'm not positive how much they overlap, but I, I think they do. That it's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to think something is wrong with you. You might be just like Paul. And that's a pretty good thing. Because Paul loved God, and I'm sure you do too. Thanks for this amazing question, and we'll talk to you soon.